his favor. You didn't deserve it. Amen. Praise God. I told y'all earlier when we were saying that. If you got some things you need God to do, get it on your mind. Because guess what? There's a law of mercy out there. Listen, you just don't know God might do that for you today. In spite of you, in spite of what you did, in spite of who you are, but because of who he is and who you are to him, God may heal you today. God may fix that problem today. God may turn around because his mercy are new to us every day oh god you can't never give up hope on god glory be to god because he's god hallelujah lord have mercy well, i feel a little song but i'm not going to say it amen praise god god is god he don't ever change god is god he'll always be the same come on help. he's god on the land he's god on the sea He's God in you. He's God in me. Amen. You got to know that God is God and he won't ever change. Amen. Praise God. And what we got to do is we can't let situations and circumstances change us. I know that it's easier said. It's easier for me to say it than for us to do it. But listen, we got to fight our way through it. Amen. Praise God. We got to learn how to stay focused and keep our eyes on God. Because God didn't call y'all here this morning uh, just for me to stand in the pulpit, praise God, and amen, and beat y'all down. That ain't what God called you here for. No, he's called you here to call you to a higher place in him. He called you here, amen, to strengthen you against the battles that you're facing today. Somebody, I'm listening, I know somebody came today and they came looking for strength. Uh, amen, somebody came today and they came looking for encouragement. Somebody came today and they came looking for direction in their life. Lord, where do I go from here? What do I need to do? Amen, praise God. And so that's what God called you here today for. Bible the class, no man comes except I draw. Amen. And you know what my job is to do today? My job, first of all, is to keep the devil off of you. Because, listen, the devil going to try and hinder you when I begin to break forth the word of God. The words that God would have for me to share with you today. The enemy going to try to start coming in your mind. He going to start breaking up all the stuff you've been going through. Breaking up how people done talked about you. How they lied on you. How you've been hurt, mistreated. The devil then going to start, praise God, if that don't work, start making Making you feel bad about yourself, telling you how bad you are, how worthless you are, how much you have done, and, and that this is all your fault anyway for all the stuff that you need. Amen. Praise God. And you know who said that? That ain't nobody but the devil. Because God is not up in heaven pointing his finger at you this morning, saying that this is what you get. That ain't how the God does it. No. Amen. Praise God. He said, Listen, I'm going to tell you what you're going to get. More my grace and my mercy. Say insufficient, but I need you to stand firm. I need you to be stable. I need you to be strong and fight a good fight of faith because I got things for you to do. And glory be to God that you be told. Eyes have not yet seen, ears have yet not heard, neither have they entered into the hearts of men the things that God has prepared for them that love Him. God still has some blessings. Oh, available in heaven. There's still some blessings available. There's still, God is still a blessing. God, he's still able to bless. Amen. Listen, blessings were not just only in the Bible time. Amen. The power of God was just not just only in the Bible, in the Bible time. What we read about, listen, there's some blessings and some favors still going on now. Amen. Praise God. You, listen, I, you, you can tell, you ain't got to take my word for Amen. But I know that he's a blessing. Amen. I've seen his power move on this week. And I know that the God, that the Lord, amen, is in the business of blessing his people. Let me just get y'all on into the word on this one. I want us to turn to the book of Matthew, chapter number 13 this morning. I want to, praise God, just share a little bit of the conversation or all or in part, whatever the Lord will allow. Amen, praise God, that uh, I was talking with God. Amen. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hey, the Matthew chapter number 13. Amen. On the behalf of the people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen, there is a longing in the spiritual realm. Praise God. You, we got to realize we must remember something. Amen. Praise God. That in spite of the current situations. See, a lot of times, saints, we get so caught up in our trials. 
how bad it hurts, how uncomfortable it is. Amen, praise God, how much confusion that's going on, right? that we simply forget the fact of the matter that God so loved us that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him, that you should not perish. Come on here. Now, because of your belief in Christ, I don't care how bad it is. I don't care how hard and tough it's been. Amen. Praise God. It is not God's desire or design that you perish in this thing. Can I just say that this morning? Amen. Listen, God wants to bring you through it. Amen. And not just only bring you through it, but he wants to bring you through it in victory. That's why, amen, praise God, he sent Jesus to die on the cross so that you can have it. But saints, we get focused a lot of times and get re re misdirected. Amen. And forget the fact of the matter that we are the children of God and that we belong to God and God did not just save us just to set us down here to be pin cushions or punching bags so that the devil could just beat up on us and we ain't, don't have nothing to fight back with. No, I'm praising no, he didn't make us push over us. Come on here. Amen. Praise God. So God, amen, listen, he's given us everything that we need and what happens is when we begin to lose our focus we, we, we get drawn away from God. The Father, we get away from Him. Praise God. We begin to get distracted and distractions of Amen. Separate us from the power because they separate us from being connected to God. But I'm here to tell you here on the day. Amen. That if you have lost your joy, it's time to get your joy back. If you don't lost your peace, it's the woman that and praise God, not because the preacher said praise. When was the last time you clapped your hands? Not because the pastor said clap your hands. When was the last time you gave God glory and just said, Lord, I thank you? Not because the pastor said it, but because he's just been good. Our Lord has said that things been going on so bad in your life where you have lost your praise, where you have lost your joy. Amen. It's time to get it back. Amen. Praise God. Oh, glory be to God. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord on this morning. Matthew. Chapter number 13. And we're going to start at verse number 44. Verse number 44. I'm going to read that 44th verse. Thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. That are standing with us as we reverence the word of the Lord. We thank God. I'm going to ask that after I read the 44th verse, that we all have our seats and we will continue on to read the word. We may go to the Old Testament a little bit, come back in the new. Amen. Praise God. But y'all just hold on for the ride. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter number 13, 44th verse. And the Bible reads, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. The which when a man had found, he hid, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he had, and buyeth that field. You may take your seats. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant seeking goodly pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had had and bought it. Praise God. And may the Lord add a blessing. Amen. Praise God. Uh, praise God to, to, to the reading of his word. And may God continue to strengthen the people of God. You know the Bible says, amen, praise God, that we cannot be hearers only. Not just hearers only. Not just hearers only. But we have to be doers as well as hearers. Doers as well as hearers. It's good for us to hear the word. Amen. People listen to the word. You know, the word will encourage us. The word will give us comfort. Amen. Praise God. Especially when you're going through some things. Listen, because the word has an anointing on it. And it will lift a burden off of you. Praise God. It will. It will, it will destroy a yoke. It will bring deliverance. The word has that type of power all by itself. But one thing about the word of the Lord is, is that, praise God, the word is not going to hold you captive. Amen. God does not do that. 
Amen. Praise God. That he gave us the, the ability and to have free choice. And so saying that to say this, the same way that when the word will bring deliverance and when the word, amen, will lift a burden off of you by you hearing the word, if you don't apply the word, amen, praise God, the same power, amen, that, that came when you heard it, if you start operating in it, then you will stay in that deliverance, you will stay in that power, but if you do contrary, Praise God to what you have heard. Amen. That you're going to get a contrary effect. Amen. Amen. See, again, if you don't listen to the word, if you do not obey the word, then guess what you'll do is you'll find yourself back burned again. You'll find yourself back bound again, back depressed again. Amen. Praise God. And so we pray for the strength of the people of God. Amen. To not just only be hearers of the word. Amen. Praise God. But to be doers of the word. See, that's where the devil fights us so at. Praise God. That's why we tell you that you got to be watchful. Amen. And pray from the distractions of the devil. Why? Because we live in a real world that's demon possessed. We live in a real world that the devil is running rampant in. We live in a world where the people don't listen. They don't love God. They reject God. Men love evil. Praise God. Wickedness. Amen. Praise God is everywhere. And you have to have a made up mind. Your decision has to be finalized and fixed. That I'm going to live for God. No matter how difficult this may feel. No matter how much it's going to hurt. No matter how much shame it's going to bring to me. Because Folk gonna laugh at you. Folk gonna call you crazy. They're gonna say, Oh, sons, I wouldn't do that. They may pray that, but I told y'all a long time ago. And I'm gonna tell you again this morning. Listen, if you do what other people do, then you will get what other people get. But if you won't do what others won't do, praise God, then you won't get what they will get. You got to understand that. They may pray that you got to live for God if you want to get to the kingdom of God. And people will say all they know that they know the Lord. They pray that they'll say that they love the Lord. They'll say that Jesus is Lord and Savior. But Jesus said, You will know a tree by the fruit that it may have. You can't just believe the words that come out of a person's mouth all of the time. Amen. Because Jesus told them, He said, Listen, with their lips they have taught themselves how to lie. He said, But what their hearts are far from me. He said, You will know a tree. By the fruit that it bears. And that's what we have to be as saints of God. We can't just be talkers about it. We got to be walkers along with it. Amen. Praise God. And when we start walking this word, then that's when you have deliverance. When you start walking this word, that's when you have peace. When we start walking in this word, that's when power comes. Amen. Praise God. Because God is right there with you. How many believe that on this one? Remember, clap your hands and say amen. Oh, glory be to God. I just want to speak to you for a few more moments this morning on the word. Amen. On this topic, God asked me a question. Praise God to come and share with us all this morning. And the question is, amen, is it worth having? Is it worth having? Praise God. Oh, we got to ask ourselves, is it worth having? Praise God. Well, uh, let me just dive on in so we can get an understanding of what he's talking about here this morning. Look, amen, as we open up the Bible, praise God, we have these two little parables here, amen, praise God. Amen, one talks about, amen, a merchant man finding some pearls, and one talks about a man finding treasure in a field, praise God. And praise God, but between the two of these parables, amen, praise God, when he started out, amen, he started telling them that this is how the kingdom of heaven is, amen, he said again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field, praise God, so let's just look at that and break that down, so we can get understanding of what Jesus was really trying to talk to them about, praise God, you got to understand something now, you know, in our day, age, and time, things have changed so much, amen, Listen, we're used to credit card, debit card. We're used to checks, Apple Pay, amen, Google Pay, all of those things, Cash App, Venmo, praise God, PayPal. Amen, listen, we can transact money, move money around, amen, 401k, all sorts of things. But praise God, these people in this particular time and era, 
Uh, amen. Praise God. Listen, they didn't have banks. They didn't have uh, vaults and stuff like that. Uh, but people still had wealth. Uh, amen. Praise God. And because of the times uh, that they were living in, uh, there were robbers. Amen. There wasn't as much law enforcement as it is now. There wasn't as much, amen, rules and regulations. Uh, praise God. And so you had to do, uh, amen, everything that you knew to do to protect uh, your wealth. Praise God. And if you didn't have, amen, a big army going around with you, amen, praise God, you know what they would do? Is that they would find spots, praise God, on land, glory be to God. And they would dig holes, and they would bury their wealth. Come on here. Amen. That was a common thing to happen at this particular time, at this age. Now, guess what would happen, praise God? Sometimes, you know, people would bury stuff, amen, and things would happen. People would get killed at war. Amen. People would die from disease and, and plagues and all types of stuff. Amen. Praise God. And if they owned that land, amen. Praise God. That wealth was still on that land. And people at this particular time would sojourn. They would travel. Amen. Praise God. They lived outdoors. They lived, amen. Praise God. In tents and hunts and, and by campfire and things of that sort. Amen. Praise God. Uh, you could go easily because people's morals and values was a little bit different now. Praise God. You come out now and somebody out there on your front yard. Amen. Praise God. Camped out. Listen, there's going to be trouble in the city. But back then, praise God. Listen, folk, they would probably come out there and say, hey, you had something to eat today. Amen, praise God, because people were different. It was a different culture. Amen, but nevertheless, you got to understand something that if, praise God, an individual had bought a piece of land and he had buried treasure on that land, praise God, and he passed away, it did not matter, praise God, if you were just roaming through there and that person was dead, praise God, and you found that treasure, you legally had no right to it, praise God. Amen, praise God. No, it would still pass on to his family because it was a part of his land. It would be a part of their parents' land, of payment of the owner's land. And so, praise God, the Bible gives us uh, uh, the parable about a man, praise God, said that he was looking for something. Amen, praise God. Anybody here today looking to get into heaven, praise God, he went looking for a treasure. Y'all not coming back to me we almost done this one. Praise God. Glory be to God. The Bible said this man, he went and he found treasure. And it was hid in a field. But you know what he did? He understood, praise God, that he couldn't just go dig it up. Amen. And rightfully it be his. He knew the understand that there was a right way he had to get it. Amen. Praise God. And I'm telling you that today. Amen. Listen, everybody wants to go to heaven. But there's only a right way to get there. You got to go first of all. You got to confess Jesus as Lord and Savior. And then you got to do what he says. Jesus told his disciples. He said, why call it me Lord, Lord? And you do not the things that I say. He said, you will be my disciples indeed if you continue in my word. This man understood. Amen. Praise God. And even though he found the treasure, praise God, that he had to go about the lawful way. He had to go back the lawful way. Amen, praise God. He had to go back the lawful way to be able to get it, praise God. And so, amen, he goes, the Bible says, amen, he sells everything that he had. Amen, praise God. All because he begins to look at, amen, praise God, the value of what he just found. Amen, praise God. And that's what brings us to the question on the day. Amen, praise God. Is it worth having? Amen, praise God. Is what you can get from the Lord. Is your peace worth having, praise God? Is joy worth having on the day? Is it worth having? Because sometimes, I'm telling you, some of us now are perishing away. We're perishing our body. What do you mean by that? Amen. Some of us are dealing with ailments, sicknesses, why? Behind worry and frustration. Don't you know, amen, praise God, that those things do things to the body? I told y'all about this, praise God, a few months ago when I had this last surgery. Amen, praise God, we were beginning to get some complications. So I had to go to the doctor, start getting to the place where I couldn't breathe and start getting hard. And I was 
wondering what was going on. Still trying to push my way through. We get over there. Praise God, they get the saying that you got blood clots and stuff like that in your lungs and all of this here. Amen. Praise God. And they got me hooked up to these monitors. Praise God. I know they told me that I had hypertension, high blood pressure, but I've never physically saw it before. They had me hooked up to these monitors. Praise God. And we're sitting there waiting on the doctors to come back. And amen. That they calling me from the business. And amen. And every time they're calling me, this is happening and that is happening. And this is going on. And praise God. I'm sitting there and I'm looking at my wife and she's looking at these monitors and she patting me on up. Amen. Praise God. And this stuff here. And I'm like, you know, what's I'm looking? And then I begin to pay attention that every time, amen, I get on this phone, my numbers start going up and, and all of this stuff. Come on here. Amen. Praise God. Listen, things happen on the inside of us. And that's what's happening. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Some of these things, amen, praise God, that's out there in our lives. Amen. Praise God. We are losing sleep over. Amen. Praise God. The body needs its sleep. Glory be to God. We are, we are stressing over. Amen. Praise God. And it is causing us internally internal damage. Is it worth having? Praise God. The Bible says that, amen, the kingdom of heaven is as this man, amen, praise God. Uh, he said, I'm going to it to him. He, he, he is a treasure hid in a field. And when a man had found the treasure, he hid it, amen, for the joy thereof. And he go and sell it all that he had. And then he buy that field. He knew, praise God, that even though he had found the field, even though he had found the treasure. Amen. Praise God. Listen, he would not be legally his or rightfully his until he obtains it the right way. See, that's the problem. Amen. With us now. Amen. Praise God. We've been taught how to cut corners too much. Amen. Praise God. But I want you to know something today. That when it comes to being saved, when it comes to walking in the power of God, amen, there's no corners to cut. Glory be to God. They're preaching that nowadays. Amen. They a man can get to heaven living any type of way, doing any type of thing. But that's not the Bible. We got to live according to the scripture. And it sounds like it's hard when we hear it, but it's not hard. The only reason why it sounds hard is because it's hitting the flesh. And the flesh does not want to live for God. The Bible talks about that. That the flesh has enmity against God. And so when you start telling the flesh what Jesus already told the flesh, that flesh has to die. The flesh don't want to die. And whenever you hear the word saying that you can't cut corners, amen, saying praise God, that you got to live according to the scripture. If you're going to make it in, it seems grievous. Amen. But I'm here to tell you today that if you can get past that, if you can be like Zachariah, amen, he said to be silent on flesh. Sometimes you just got to tell your flesh to be quiet. Sometimes the flesh talks too much and it gets some of us in trouble. Telling us that you need that. Telling us that there's an easy way. Amen. Pray that now the devil is alive. There ain't but one way to make it here. And that's according to the Bible. I wish somebody would clap those hands and give them glory on this one. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Praise God. Is it worth it? Is it worth having? Amen. It was the question that the Lord asked me today. Amen. <coughs> Is it worth having? Oh, glory be to God. Amen. Is it worth having? If it's because if, if it's anything worth having, amen, praise God. Listen, you'll do everything in your power to get it. Y'all already know what I'm talking about. Amen. Praise God. Listen, praise God. Some things we thought that we wanted, that we needed, uh, that was going to be good for us. We broke all the rules. Y'all ain't hearing me here. Uh, listen, we throw all caution to the curb. Uh, amen. Praise God. Listen, we stopped paying bills. Uh, amen. So we could get enough money to buy it. Y'all ain't hearing me here. Uh, amen. Praise God. Y'all ain't talking back to me now. Uh, amen. We borrowed, bombed, and begged. Uh, amen. Praise God. So that we could get it. Uh, amen. We threw all caution to the curb. And then after a while, amen. Praise God. You start in the unit. Start using that thing, and then the next thing you know, stuff start going wrong with it because we forget, praise God, that anything that is subject, amen, to the elements of this life, 
and anything made by man, praise God, will be destroyed. But I want to ask you something here today. How much is it worth to you to have a seat in the kingdom of God? Amen. Praise God. Can I just say something to you? Amen. Praise God. Worldly wealth, the Lord said to me, makes us feel secure and confident. Amen. It makes us feel good when we got it. It makes us feel confident when we got it. Amen. Praise God. But despite the fact that it has no eternal value, how much is it worth having? Praise God. Is it worth your peace? Is it worth what you got to go through now? Is it worth your late night hour crying? Amen. Praise God. Is it worth it? Glory be to God. Look what this man did. The Bible says, Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is just like this man. Amen. Praise God. He began to find this field, and he found treasure in this field. But when he found treasure in this field, he said, it's worth everything that I got. He went and sold everything that he had. Everything that he had to go and buy the field. Because it ain't worth having if you can't have it the right way. Are y'all out there with me this morning? Oh, glory be to God. I mean, it's, it's, it's just so much more better. Praise God. I remember way, 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 way back then. Hey, man, praise God before the Lord saved me. Glory be to God. I used to have money. I had money. I had cars. Cars. I mean, when I was 21, I had five cars paid for. I had uh, rims on them, music in them, house full of furniture, pockets full of money. Glory be to God, but I had no peace. I had no peace. That's why, I, listen, I, seventh grade was the last grade I did in school. I didn't get no college, no, no sponsorships. I didn't get no loans, credit, or tour from the floor. I remember having five cars and no driver's license. Y'all think talking to me. <laughs> No insurance on there, one of them. No registration, inspection, riding with no seatbelt. No. Amen. Half the time I was drunk and high. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Amen. Praise God. But, amen. Listen, I was caught up in that system. I had no peace, though. Oh, praise God. Y'all ain't hearing me here this morning. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise. But, but praise God. I, and I realized that even though I had it, I had no, I wasn't able to enjoy it. Praise God. Now, amen, I stopped counting. I don't know how many vehicles we got strolled around somewhere here and there. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But we got, you know, amen. We got God, God with us to take care of. Amen. But guess what now? You spent time, praise God, when I was back there. They come knocking on my door. I'm jumping up out of the run. I couldn't even sleep in my bed. Couldn't sleep in my head. I had to sleep on the sofa because, amen, anybody out there in that life or remember that life, praise God, listen, you let up there, you hit up that police break. And then certain sound they would make me running, looking out the window. Oh, let me go on with that. But now, praise God, listen, they can come knock on my door. Amen, praise God. I don't care if it's 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And I can get up from a good night's sleep. I can walk over to the door and say, yes, how can I help you? Is there anything that I can do with you? Because now I got a peace that surpasses all men's understanding. I know now, praise God, that everything that I had, the Lord gave it to me. And what God gives, no man can take it. If it's worth having, then you do it right. You do it right, then God's blessings will be on it. God puts his seal on it. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, amen, praise God, that this man, when he find the field for the joy thereof, he go and sell all that he had and buy that field. He counted up the cost. What would it profit him? Praise God. To gain the world. But to lose our soul. And that's where we got to be at here today, saints. Listen, see, that is a calling of God. That's what this is about today. Amen. I know, 
Amen. Y'all, y'all hear the tune, the up and the down, amen, in my voice, but this is only the Lord, amen. But there's a call here today, amen, praise God. Yes, we do send out the text messages, we do send out the invites, amen, but there's a call that you heard, amen, in spite of the ping or the ding of your phone, amen, there was something that dropped in your spirit, amen, praise God. There was a message that dropped on the inside of you to make you agree to come here today. And so since you agreed to come here today. Amen. Praise God. Listen, I'm going to tell you, amen, exactly why he called you here. It's because God wants closeness with you. He wants, listen, he wants more intimacy with you. Amen. Praise God. Now he's tired of you being on the other side of the fence. Look at saying, I wish I, that I could get in there. God, I want to be closer. Amen. Well, I'm here to tell you today. He's saying, the only thing that's stopping you is you. God ain't stopping you. Amen. The only person that's holding you yourself back is you holding yourself back. Amen. Praise God. Whatever happened, brother dear, to a time, praise God, when the people had a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. I was reading something, Minister Young. Amen. Praise God out of the Bible. In the book of Psalms. You know what David said? David was in the wilderness. Glory be to God. And he said, Oh God, thou art my God. He said, Early will I seek thee. Amen. He said, my soul thirsts for thee. He said, my flesh long for thee. In a dry and a thirsty land where no water is. What happened to a time? Amen. What people just really wanted God. That's all that I really want. Amen. Praise God. You know what the happened? We have got to the place now. We want God. But the only reason why we want God is to get us out of our trouble. The only reason we want God, but the only reason why we want God is to heal our body. We want God because we want the power of God to show up in our lives. But what about wanting Him just because the simple fact that He loved you despicable as you were? He loved you as nasty and mean as you were. He loved you high and drunk. He loved you sleeping with this one and that one. Amen. Praise God. And He still says, I want you. I choose you above the law. I choose you above the law. I want you just like you are. What will happen to that? Oh, I wish I had somebody to feel what I can feel up here this morning. Oh, glory be to God. He says, oh Lord. Oh, my soul. Curse for me. Boy, have you ever been outside working, especially this Texas Eve? Hallelujah. And you don't went an hour or two and you haven't had anything to drink. Y'all not talking back to me. Oh, glory be to God. Listen, I'm talking, I'm talking about the real thirst. Now, I'm not talking about, amen, praise God. When you're talking about, oh, I got a taste for a soda. That, you ain't really thirsty. Amen. If you got a taste for a soda. No, you, you, you're not thirsty yet. Come on here. Oh, I got a taste. Of, amen. For a big red. You, you're really not thirsty yet. Amen. Praise God. Listen. You know when you're real thirsty? When you don't want nothing else but water. Y'all not talking back to me. Listen, that's only, I want a cold drink of water. Amen. That's when you know that you're real thirsty. Amen. Praise God. Because you know. Amen. Praise God. Even though that soda may be good, it's not going to refresh and replenish your body like that cold water we have. Amen. Praise God. What happened to that? Amen. Well, my soul thirsts for God. Amen. I'm tired of going through. I'm tired of crying. Y'all not talking back to me. Amen. Praise God. The clubs can't do this. The weed can't do this. The women and the men can't do this. I really need something. I need joy. I need peace. David said, I thirst for you, oh God. I don't need nobody else. You talking about David. I'm Man that had multiple wives, hundreds, thousands of concubines. He said, I don't want them. I want you, God. And then praise God. Is it worth having? Is it worth having? Is it worth having? The man had to ask himself, is it worth having? When he went over there, he found that treasure. Oh, praise God, because if you ask yourself, is it worth having? The next question got to be is, what are you willing to give up to get it? That's got to be your next question. Because if you realize 
work. The next treasure is worth having. Next thing you need to do, amen, praise God, is ask yourself, what am I willing to give up to get it? Uh, am I willing uh, to give up this thing uh, that's burdening me now? Uh, this thing that I've been trying to keep all this time. Uh, this thing, amen, that I've been putting more time, uh, effort into. Uh, is it worth praise God? Be giving that up uh, to get this treasure. Y'all not talking back to me. Uh, are y'all saying, yeah, I'll do it? Uh, are y'all praying, uh, yeah? Uh, well, I'll see how you're going to do it. Uh, when it gets 12 midnight tonight, uh, and you reach over there and ain't in that bed no more. Uh, she prays I ain't the worth giving up, amen. When you wake up in the morning and you used to get it to get your mind right, we don't see praise God. Is it worth giving up? Because if it's worth adding, amen, praise God, you got to ask yourself, what am I willing to give up to get it? I love having this dying peace by my side. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I didn't go too far back on y'all, did I? Y'all probably got some worse than that now. <laughs> Y'all probably say I'm slow. Probably say I'm old. <laughs> Glory be to God. Uh -huh. then what is it worth giving up? Hallelujah. You got to be willing to give up some things. Amen. Praise God. You got to be willing to walk away from some stuff. Glory be to God. You got to be first willing to buy up. Amen. To do it. Amen. And then last thing you got to do. Amen. Praise God. Is you got to get up and do it. Amen. You got to be willing to get up and move. Amen. Amen. Is it worth having? Amen. Praise God. What am I willing to give up to do it? And the last thing is, is that you got to be willing to get up and do it. The Bible says that after he sold all of his stuff, amen, praise God, he go and he buy the field. Amen, praise God. He went and bought that field. Amen, he bought into the kingdom of God. And what do we mean by that? Buying into the kingdom of God. Amen, not only am I saved, well, I'm going to get active in God. I'm going to start praying. I'm going to start pressing my way to the church. I'm going to come when I'm tired. I'm going to come when I'm sleepy. When I'm sick, I'm going to be in the house of the Lord. You know why? Because the Bible says, David said, I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to reside in the tents of the wicked. He said, I'm thousand. They are one day in your court. He said, I'm thousand. Y'all are talking back to me. I would rather be in the house. You got to buy into this. Glory be to God. Is it worth having? Well, if it's worth having, what are you willing to give up to get? And you know, we flip that. Is it worth having? Is what you got now worth it? Is the crying at night, the struggling during the day, Mind all over the place. Some of us say we go through things, and I'm telling you now, don't feel, listen, now the enemy does that. He hits us like that. And it's not to bring anybody down because everybody goes through trials and tribulations. That, listen, that's just a part of this. And what you don't go through, somebody else going to go through. But you got to be strong. But you need to ask yourself, is it worth this? On the other side, if things do switch, is it going to be worth this? See, he realized as he was telling the story about the kingdom of heaven. See? The, the natural riches going to fade away. I don't care if you make a million. If you spend a million, you still have nothing. A million dollars is a lot of money. But if you spend a million, a hundred dollars is a lot of money. But if you spend a hundred, you got nothing. But I'm going to tell you this, that if you invest today in the kingdom of God, a glory be to God, hallelujah, you've got an investment that will never fade away. Y'all not talking back to me. Some of us are here today because somebody 
took the time to take grandmama to church. Somebody took the time to take mama to church and to Sunday school. And when they got up, they took you to school. And it keeps on going down and down and down the line. Amen. Praise God. There is an investment in the kingdom of God. Is it worth having today? Praise God. Look at your life. Amen. Is, 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 this, is, is this thing? Praise God. Worth my peace. Is it worth me about to lose my mind over? Oh, glory be to God. And if you say that it's not, then guess what you got to do? Is you got to start asking Jesus. You got to ask God for help. Lord, I need help. Because the truth be told. Listen, there are things that get on the inside of us. We're going to always be flesh. Amen. Praise God. And I didn't read no scripture that says you're going to wave your hand and click your heels together three times. And it's going to go away just like that. But I know God is able to do anything. But praise God, you still going to have a battle. Amen. And the way you get there, you got to say, Lord, I need some help. Lord, I need deliverance. I need my peace back. I need my joy back. I'm like that man. I'm counting up the cost. Amen. Praise God. And the way I look at it, God, I don't know if it's worth having it or not. But I know that being with you is worth every cent. It's worth every dime. I'm like this man. Then when I find this treasure, oh, glory be to God. Lord have mercy. Are y'all still out there with me this morning? Hallelujah. He found this. He sold everything that he had. Everything that he had. Praise God. To go by that field. I want, hallelujah, that thirst back. Everybody want that thirst back. That thirst. You know, God longs for us that way. That's why you're here today. Oh, he longs for you. He longs for time with you. Oh, that's why he drew you here today. I know, I know, I know, I know. Somebody invited you or you, and you say something just popped in your mind. Well, I don't want you to know what just popped in your mind. I know what the scripture says. No man come except I draw. That's right. That's right. That's because God desires closeness. God desiring more from us, saints. Hallelujah. It is easy to become addicted to comforts and lose our eternal perspective. We get comfortable living here. Comfortable in doing the things that we do on an everyday basis. And we lose our eternal perspective, saints. God called us for greater things than just for us to be down here toiling all the time. God called us to know the Bible. Jesus told them, he said, all things that I have did, you, as he said, but greater things shall you do. Greater things, hallelujah. Amen. Well, where's the last time you've seen the power of God move? Hallelujah. Is it worth having? And if it is, you've got to get that thirst and hunger back for God. You got to be willing to give up whatever, walk away from whatever, turn, but you make sure that God is with you. You got to do it God's way. Don't just do it because you're mad. Don't do it because they may upset you. Don't do it because you're trying to get back. You do it because God says. If you do it God's way, God will bless you. And don't you fret and don't you worry, saints. I hear the Lord speaking this to somebody here today. The Bible says, touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. Don't you worry about people talking bad about you. Talking down on you, down to you. Trying to degrade you and make you feel less than you are. You belong to God. Y'all ain't talking to me this morning. We thank, praise God. Amen. The only one that's really anointed. 
Praise God. And the preacher in the pulpit. Now the preacher in the pulpit has an anointing, God. Amen. And his anointing may be a little stronger. But I'm going to tell you this. Amen. There's an anointing on you to live for the Lord. Praise God. You can't live for God out here without having some form of Jesus in you. You got to know that the anointing helps you do what you can't do in your natural realm. Amen. Praise God. So that's what it is. Some of us need a stronger anointing. Some of us need to stretch out our anointing. Some of us need to walk more in the anointing. But don't you let them talk down on you. Touch not. They'll mess around one of these days. Oh, glory be to God. And God gonna put something on them. I want y'all to stand strong in the Get your best back for God. He said, I thirst for you, my soul. My mind, my will, and my emotions thirst for you. Oh, I thirst for you, God. Hallelujah. Is it worth having? Come on, stand to your feet this morning and clap your hands. We're done. Come on and clap your hands today. Praise God. We want to pray this morning for you. We want to pray for you this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen, the word of the Lord is sent to draw you. God wants closeness. He wants closer. If you're here this morning and you say, Lord, I just want to walk closer with you. That's all. I want a, I want a closer walk. Praise God. If this is you today, amen, just come down to the altar and we're just going to pray for that. I just want a closer walk with you on today, Lord. I want a closer walk, God. There's some things in my life, Lord. Amen. Praise God. I know that I've been stuck on. I've been, amen. Praise God. They've been hindering me. Amen. From walking as close with you as I desire, Lord. I just want a closer walk, God. With you, praise God. Amen. Come on down to this altar. And just come down believing, God. Believing that God don't lift burdens. Believing that God is stronger. That God is able. Amen. To fix the problem. Amen. I want a closer walk, God. Hallelujah. I just want a closer walk, Father. Oh, glory be to God. I want to be closer, God. Hallelujah. I know, God, that the only thing that can quench this desire, amen, like the cold water, God, is your spirit, Lord. I want a closer walk. Lord, I believe you right now. Lord, I believe that you can do it, God. Come on and clap those hands and pray with these this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you. God, we honor you today, God. We magnify you continually, Lord God. Hallelujah. Great is our faithfulness, oh God. Unto us, Lord. Father, we praise you this morning. We give you thanks, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to